Do you want to buy the best players in FIFA 21 Ultimate Team? Well, if the answer is yes, don't buy FIFA points. Just head over to u7buy.com for your cheap, fast, safe and reliable Ultimate Team coins. And during the Team of the Year period, there is a special 14% bonus and 10 million foot coin giveaway. Make sure to use the code RRB at checkout for 5% off. So, do you guys want me to build you your own personal squad builder? If the answer is yes, you're in the right place. If you want me to build you your own personal squad builder, all you guys have to do is simply follow a few quick and easy steps, all right? All you guys got to do is like this video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications, all right? And once you guys have done that, take a picture, screenshot that, head over to my Instagram, follow my Instagram, and then DM me that screenshot of you following the steps. And once you guys have done that, I can then build your squad, all right? It's that simple, it's that easy. And then, you can end up like these guys. What is going on guys and welcome back to another FIFA 21 squad builder on the channel. In today's video, as you guys can tell by the title, I'm going to be showing you guys an underrated but overpowered meta team still to use in FIFA 21, alright? This team, like I said, is underrated. You don't really see it too much in things like foot champions, but it's still very much an overpowered team to use in FIFA. So with that being said, before I get into it, if you haven't seen the last episode of the RTG, our foot champs highlights, and make sure you check the link down below in the description. Also, smash a like on the video if you do enjoy these squad builders but with that being said let's waste no more time guys and let's get straight into it okay guys so as you guys can see on the screens right now for this team you want to use the 433 third variation but that is just to get everyone on full chemistry at the end of the video i will show you guys what formation to use in game but with that being said guys let's waste no more time and let's get straight into the squad builders so in the striker position we do have again so a lot of these plays you don't really come up against these plays in foot champions people don't really tend to use them but they are still very very overpowered cards so in the striker spot we do have foot freeze forgan hazard all right forgan hazard is an incredible player in the game i really really do like him in my opinion this foot freeze card fits the meta of the game i think that he's a great player you know he's a player of great agility great balance good dribbling and ball control so he's a fantastic card in terms of dribbling his finishing shot power a long shot and attacking positioning are amazing as well and he's got um, a high amount of pace and also he's got four star skill moves and four star weak foot i don't understand why people don't use this card a lot it's a fantastic team i really 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 do think it's a fantastic team um a fantastic player sorry it's a fantastic card what am i talking about but um yeah he's a fantastic card and i recommend that you guys go Go ahead and get him i really really do so make sure you guys go ahead and get foot freeze fog and hazard it is an incredible card to use but with that being said in the right wing position we do have another crazy crazy player he goes by the name of riad mares and again in my opinion don't really come up against him but i think he's a fantastic card you know he's got five star skill moves four star weak foot um his dribbling agility balance ball control composure all of that is just ridiculous man it really really is insane as you can see 93 agility 89 balance 92 ball control 91 dribbling and 85 composure it's just stuff that you love to see all right i think this card is a great card yes i know he doesn't have that pace maybe for a winger um he's got high acceleration but low sprint speed with a hunter or a catalyst chemistry style that pace can increase a little bit more but you know you just got to play in a certain way that suits that lack of pace that Mares may have so just don't try and pace out wingers you know um just be just build up the uh, the game more slowly don't really hit people on the counter attack as much with Mares. um and yeah you just got to kind of know how to use the player but definitely um finesse shot a lot with Mares because his finesse shots are really really overpowered especially on that strong left foot of his but yeah Riyad Mares man a fantastic card I recommend that you guys go ahead and get him and as you guys can see man five star skill moves four star weak foot he's a great great card um so yeah make sure you guys go ahead and get him but in the left wing position we do have another Belgium and it's actually um Hazard's brother it is for um Eden Hazard not Fulgen Hazard it's Fulgen Hazard's brother which is Eden Hazard man a great card in my opinion and I don't know why not many people use Hazard. Like I can't remember the last time I came up against Hazard in Foot Champions. I think maybe it was nearer, nearer to the start of the game, but people kind of seem to stop using him. I think this is an underrated card. I think it's a still though a meta card to use in FIFA. As you can see, he's got four star skill moves, four star weak foot. Can't really complain with that. Again, another player in in our attacking lineup with ridiculously high agility, balance, ball control, dribbling, and composure. I'm telling you, these are the players that you want to be using in the attack because they are the most meta, they are the most effective, and they fit the way the game is meant to be played. And that is why I think uh, Eden Hazard is a fantastic card. But not only that, his finishing is good and he's got pace as well. And of course, man, he's got the four-star skill moves and four-star weak foot as well. So yeah, this is a great card. Make sure you guys go ahead and pick up Eden Hazard. But moving on in towards the midfield, midfield now, guys, we're going to start off with the right CDM position now. 
this player is a cam but you just want to play him at cdm um just for chemistry reasons and then like i said at the end of the video i'll show you where to put these players but um yeah we do actually have as you can see as i'm typing we do have kevin de bruyne um before I say anything about Kevin De Bruyne, who do you think is better in real life? Bruno Fernandes or Kevin De Bruyne? Let me know down in the comment section below. Who is better, De Bruyne or Kevin? Um, De Bruyne or Kevin? <laughs> De Bruyne or Bruno Fernandes? Let me know down in the comment section below. But with that being said, in FIFA, we do have Kevin De Bruyne. And uh, yeah, a fantastic card. Um... I do like De Bruyne uh, from that cam position. I think he's a pretty decent player to use. Obviously, he doesn't have that high agility or, or high balance, but what he does has is, what he does have is good ball control, composure, and dribbling. Also, his passing and finishing is absolutely ridiculous. He's got crazy shot power. His finishing is crazy as well. I think in and around the box is where De Bruyne is most effective. You don't want to be like holding on to the ball too long with someone like De Bruyne because he, he lacks that pace. So if you're gonna start a counter attack or something. Don't like try and outpace someone with some with, with Kevin De Bruyne because it's not going to work. But I think definitely in like tight spaces in and around the penalty box, if you're just passing and moving, trying to find the gaps, find the space, I think Kevin De Bruyne is good at that. And also, he's got five star weak foot as well, which is ridiculous. You know, you can shoot on his left foot or in his right foot, more than likely, it's going to hit the back of the net. His finishing really, really is overpowered. So I think he's a good cam card to use, man. High, high work rates. Um, yeah, I think he's a great card. So just make sure you guys go ahead, go ahead and get Kevin De Bruyne. Again, in my opinion, like, I don't think I've actually come up against this card like once. Yet. I, I just don't think it's because too many people use the same teams. But yeah, this is a great card. I just recommend that you guys go ahead and get it. But with that being said, guys, in the left CDM position, we actually do have a free um, objective card that you could have done. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna say the objective card first, and if you don't have him, then I recommend another player that you can get. Um, but yeah, we actually do have Kappa, um, and I think uh, if you did this card, then well done because I think. This this card definitely it, uh, is worth getting um well at the time it was worth getting you can't obviously get it now but um yeah i think this is a great cdm card because i've actually done it myself um and i think he's a good card because he's got the pace as you can see he's got 86 sprint speed and 85 acceleration his defending is very very good as well he's got high stamina good strength good aggression good interceptions and good tackling and it's, he's also pretty decent on the ball as well so he's not really that stiff um you can move uh, pretty um quickly with him on the ball and that is what i do like about this card so again i don't know how many people really did this card but in my opinion it's an underrated card i think he's i think he's a fantastic player in this game and again not many people do use him and i don't really know why to be honest with you but if you do not have this kappa card all right if you don't have this kappa card then what you could do is just buy someone um very very cheap and affordable but very very overpowered you can just buy marcus lorente who um is a fantastic player to you so that that is an alternative to um kappa because obviously kappa isn't on the market or anything right now so if you want to build this team but you can't get kappa get lorente instead um but yeah in the central center mid position to partner up with kappa in that dm position we do have axel witzelman a good card in my opinion he's got four star skill moves four star weak foot and what i like about axel witzel is the fact that he's so well rounded and this is actually his um his uh, flashback card i meant to choose his normal gold card here sorry about that one guys um but yeah his normal gold card is fantastic it's a very very good well-rounded card to use in my opinion as you guys can see by the stats his defending is good um his attacking is good he's got four star skill moves four star weak foot like he's a good card to use the only thing he kind of lacks is the pace but when you got a pacey center mid next to him like someone like kappa or even marcus lorente um then it's not too bad because as you guys can see lorente is, is fast as well 88 sprint speed which is absolutely crazy so yeah you kind of um, make up for that lack of lack of pace with Witzel by having Kappa or Lorente. So yeah, I think that is a, it's a, it's a partnership that will work well. Um, so yeah, make sure you guys go ahead and pick up Axel Witzel. Um, a very very good, cheap and effective card to use in FIFA. But we're gonna move on in towards the defense now, guys. And um, in the right back spot, we actually I, I don't think this guy's underrated. I think he's a very very overpowered player to be honest with you guys. But um, yeah, obviously he's just a good card. He fits in a team. Um, so yeah, just make sure you guys go ahead and get him. Most of you guys probably have him already. He goes by the name of Nelson Samedo. He's a fantastic card. Four-star skill moves, high agility, good at defending, really, really fast as well. Um, yeah, this is a great card, and I, I just recommend that you guys go ahead and get him. I think we all know that Nelson Samedo in FIFA 21 is an absolutely fantastic card to use. I think we already know that. So um, yeah, just make sure you guys go ahead and get him. As you can see, four-star skill moves, 93 sprint speed, 91 acceleration, 87 agility, um, and some good defending stats as well. Uh, so yeah, make Make sure you guys get Semedo. He will do you guys a fantastic job from that right back position. But with that being said, guys, in the left back spot, we do have the man himself, Jordi Alba. Now, typically speaking, typically speaking, um, you know, if you're building a, a La Liga team, everyone's going to go with Ferland Mendy. And that's just understandable. I can understand that because Ferland Mendy is incredible. But 
I do think Jordi Alba is underrated. Again, not someone that you see a lot, but it's actually a fantastic car, man. He is really, really good. Um, he's got the pace. He's got that really, really high agility and balance as well. Like on the ball, Jordi Alba is very, very good. So you can make those overlapping runs if you want him to. And in terms of defending, he's great as well. And I think what it allows you to do as well by having a fast defense is just to push higher up the pitch a little bit, play a higher depth and... Um, get your opponent cramped in and just pressure up pressure opponents but um yeah i think jordi alba is a great card like i said good on the ball good at defending very very pacey as well you can't really ask for more so make sure you guys go ahead and get him and now in the right center back spot this guy isn't underrated at all i'll be totally honest with you guys he's not underrated we all know that he's a fantastic card um i couldn't really find like an underrated prem center back that is like not that use not use much but is still overpowered in the game like most center backs that are in the prem that people don't use are just not really that good so um yeah joe gomez fantastic card make sure you guys go in and get him i think we all know already how good he is so i'm not really gonna waffle on about joe gomez like we, we literally see him in every single foot champions team like it's absolutely ridiculous so yeah just go ahead and pick up joe gomez we all know that he's very very overpowered but to partner up with joe gomez in the center back spot we do have um ramos again ramos i see him a little bit like here and there but not as much because um like some people do kind of partner like to partner partner him up with um uh rafael varan but I, do, I see him more than everyone else in this squad um but not enough if you know what i mean i think this is a great card now i know ramos doesn't have um that high amount of pace that you might like to have for your center back but he is next to joe gomez so it kind of does make up for it a little bit but what i like about ramos is he just puts his body on the line i don't know what it is about this guy but when i come up against him he just makes the craziest auto blocks like he literally just throws himself in front of the ball it's absolutely ridiculous like he'll just put his body on the line to stop that ball from going and going in. and that is what i do like about sergio ramos i would definitely say that's something he is better at than someone like someone like a joe gomez like i think it's, it's that just defensive awareness that he does have i don't know what it is but in game he just makes the craziest um uh ai block shots so um yeah i just think when it comes to winning you the ball back you know intercepting and just tackling uh you the opponent i think ramos is very very good at that and again i think he's underrated i really really do think he's a great card to use in fifa and also with a shadow chemistry style as well his pace can go up a little bit more so yeah make sure you guys go in and get ramos he is a fantastic card but to complete this incredible 500k underrated team we do have nick pope in goal who we all know is a good keeper in this game man he's got the saves of the feet trait um yeah just make sure you guys go ahead and get him it's that simple but as you guys can see this is the underrated but overpowered 500k hybrid man let me know what you guys think of this incredible squad builder as well but before i do end off the video here i'm going to quickly show you guys what formation to change to in game and that formation is going to be the 4 2 3 1 formation all right guys you guys want to switch to this formation in game and this is how you want to set up so you're going to want to have axel witzel and kappa or Lorente if you don't have this Kappa card in the CDM spot. Then you're going to want to have Kevin De Bruyne in that cam spot. Eden Hazard left cam. And then uh, Riyad Mahrez right cam. And then Fulgen Hazard in the striker position. So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. If you do think that this is an overpowered squad. Then make sure you guys do smash the like button. And also subscribe and turn on post notifications. If you guys are new around here. But I hope you guys did enjoy. Nevertheless make sure to click the link down below in the description. And check out the last episode on the road to glory. Um, but yeah it's been your boy RB Plays. And until next time. Peace.